the uh, ternary charcoal halide nanowires for uh, energy harvesting, sensing, and environmental remediation. Um, the charcoal halides um, are the uh, compounds, uh, compounds of the uh, chemical elements from group uh, 16 of elements, uh, charcoal gas, and group uh, 17 of uh, elements, uh, halogens. And I'm, uh, in my research, I'm strongly interested in group uh, 15 of ternary charcoal halides. And here we have the uh, different uh, examples of, the, of these materials. Uh, and uh, in my opinion, the most interesting are the um, antimony sulfoiodide and antimony uh, selenoiodide. Um, they can be fabricated using different uh, techniques. Uh, I use uh, the sonochemical synthesis uh, to fabricate uh, these materials. Uh, it is uh, th this technique uh, is based on the application of uh, high power ultrasound to promote the chemical reactions. And it is very simple and very fast uh, method. Uh, and um, it, uh, it, 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 it is based on the uh, cavitation process, uh, which provides uh, uh, specific unique um, uh, conditions for, um, for example, high pressure and enormous uh, heating or cooling rate, uh, and uh, these uh, unique conditions are um, beneficial for formation for uh, of uh, one-dimensional uh, nanostructures. So the, the ternary charcoal halides um, grow into the double chains, which are linked with each other via uh, weak uh, van der Waals interactions, and the uh, polarization the electric polarization occurs along these uh, chains. Um, from our studies, we know that the, um, uh, the diameters of these uh, nanowires uh, are of about 70 and 40 nanometers in the case of antimony sulfoiodide and antimony selenoiodide. Uh, the length of these nanowires um, reaches up to a few uh, micrometers. Uh, the uh, optical band gap of uh, ternary charcoal halides uh, <clears throat> is on a very wide range uh, of values. Uh, however, for uh, these two specific materials, uh, the, the, the energy band gaps are of about 1.9 and 1.7 electron volts for antimony sulfoiodide and antimony selenoiodide. Uh, so it means that uh, they are um, th these materials are uh, uh, possess uh, narrow uh, band gaps, uh, which are uh, beneficial for applications in, uh, in optoelectronics. The electrical properties of these materials are interesting because these materials, in the majority of these materials, are ferroelectrics. Uh, which means that they uh, possess also piroelectric uh, properties and they exhibit also piezoelectric uh, properties. Uh, the application of this uh, group, uh, this family of materials, uh, can be divided in uh, <clears throat> four, um, uh, four fields. Uh, so uh, they can be applied in a gas sensor due to a uh, very high surface to volume, volume ratio. Uh, they can, uh, due to the fact that they exhibit uh, pyroelectric properties and can be applied uh, in uh, pyroelectric nanogenerators um, after the subjecting to heating or cooling, uh, they can um, be um, uh, subjected to uh, mechanical vibrations, uh, mechanical uh, deformation, uh, uh, so they can be applied in a piezoelectric nanogenerators on in a uh, piezocatalysis. And uh, the last one uh, possible field of application is uh, use these materials in uh, photovoltaic devices and photocatalysis because, as I mentioned previously, those materials are semiconduct semiconductors with uh, relatively low energy uh, band gaps. Uh, I would like to underline that uh, the majority of the listed uh, articles uh, have been published within the last five years, so uh, it means that uh, this is the uh, new, fresh field of uh, study. 
Uh, in order to uh, prepare some functional devices, uh, I need to um, use uh, processing techniques. And one of them is the ultrasonic bonding of nanowires um, in order to connect the nanowires to microelectrodes. Uh, the nanowires are aligned in an electric field between the electrodes. Um, the distance between these electrodes is, um, uh, is comparable to the uh, nanowire length. Uh, I use also the spin coating to, uh, in order to, for, uh, to uh, fabricate the uh, thin films of composites. And I also, um, uh, in 2019, I um, proposed a very simple technique um, uh, which involves high pressure compression of nanowires into the uh, bark sample. Uh, and after the synthesis of the material, the material is uh, dried into the form of uh, xerogel and the xerogel is inserted into the mold and uh, the pressure of about 100 megapascal uh, is uh, applied to the mold and we obtained uh, um, a pellet. I use also the thermosonic wire bonding to connect uh, the uh, microelectrodes to uh, to external measurement electric circuits, uh, and I also use the sputtering of metal electrodes. Uh, in 2019, I uh, investigated a photoelectric photovoltaic effect uh, in antimony sulfuriodite nanowires for the first time. Uh, the, the, sample was, uh, the sample consisted of uh, nanowires aligned between the symmetrical electrodes, platinum symmetrical electrodes, uh, and the ferroelectric photovoltaic effect refers to the formation of steady photocurrent and photovoltage and the light illumination of the uh, ferroelectric. And um, the light uh, generates the uh, pho photocarries, uh, holes and, uh, and electrons in these materials, and they are separated due to the presence of the um, spontaneous polarization in, the, in this material. Uh, and uh, what is interesting, the, the response of this, uh, um, the photo response is uh, dependent on the history of the uh, sample, and it can be easily switched from the positive to the negative or in the reverse direction using the uh, polling external electric uh, voltage. And the um, uh, magnitude of this effect is uh, unfortunately, unfortunately uh, too small for efficient solar energy harvesting, but uh, it is uh, promising for application in ferroelectric uh, uh, memories. Uh, in 2020, I uh, proposed uh, fabrication of a multi-layered structure uh, which contained um, nanocomposite of uh, antimony sulfoiodide and polyacrylonitrile and the titanium dioxide nanoparticles and the P3HT were used as the uh, electron and hole transporting layers respectively. This uh, current voltage characteristics uh, were dependent on the concentration of the um, nanowires in this uh, composite. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, the um, the main disadvantage was the limited uh, photovoltaic performance. However, uh, this method is very simple, it is uh, universal, and what is most important, it does not require a high, high temperature uh, treatment. Uh, and uh, I, I, um, I hope that this method will be uh, uh, improved in the future uh, to enhance the photovoltaic performance. Uh, in 2016, um, I uh, examined um, um, uh, an res electric response of uh, an array of a few nanowires uh, of uh, anti antimony sulfoiodide to a uh, shock wave with the um, pressure of about six megapascal. And we registered very high uh, electric field uh, response to this uh, shock pressure. Uh, and comparing these uh, results to other um, electric response of, of other known ferroelectric um, or piezoelectric materials, uh, we conclude that uh, this material 
possess very uh, very interesting, very good um, um, piezoelectric properties, uh, beneficial for applications in uh, in piezoelectric nanogenerators. And after this work, uh, many uh, many papers have been published on using uh, antimony sulfuryldehyde in uh, piezoelectric uh, nanogenerators. Here we see the examples. Uh, polyacryl nitro um, antimony sulfuryldehyde uh, uh, composite uh, in the form of nanofibers, uh, piezoelectric paper con which contained uh, the nanocellulose nano and uh, SBSI nanowires, SBSI PMMA composite, uh, epoxy resin and SBSI nanowires, and also the composite of PVDF and um, antimony sulfuryldehyde nanowires. Uh, recently, we have investigated uh, uh, piezo uh, the piezoelectric response of the uh, antimony selenoiodide nanowires. Uh, uh, the, the, the sample was in the form of the pellet uh, obtained via high pressure compression of the nanowires. Uh, and uh, we investigated this response um, for uh, um, uh, under the uh, mechanical excitation at low frequencies, the frequency was below the 200 uh, hertz. We found the resonant frequency. We uh, determined the, um, uh, the power density for this nanogenerator. Uh, and uh, also we measured just the, um, the response under the just simple the finger tapping the next field uh, of application of this material is uh, uh, use them in uh, pyroelectric nanogenerators. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the sample uh, which was uh, publicated using the high pressure compression um, of nanowires uh, was subjected to the um, temperature changes and we found that the, um, the electric response is highly correlated to the changes of the temperature. Uh, we are able to, uh, to determine the pyroelectric coefficients, the uh, power density of the, the output, output power density of this nanogenerator. And what was very um, uh, Interesting, what was very good, uh, the pyroelectric coefficient for this uh, uh, antimony selenoiodide nanowires uh, was much higher than this parameter for other known uh, ferroelectric materials, barium titanate films or PVDF uh, films. And we also obtained the high pyroelectric energy harvesting figure of merit. So we uh, concluded that these materials can be used for um, thermal energy harvesting uh, for uh, at, at uh, low temperature uh, at a relatively low temperature uh, range um, as i mentioned previously the these materials can be applied in a gas sensors um, including also uh, humidity sensors they can operate in different modes uh, conductive photoconductive or impedance and here we see the example of uh, impedance uh, humidity sensor, which exhibited very small um, hysteresis and also exhibited good, uh, the, the response of the sensor is, uh, exhibited good repeatability and very uh, good uh, stability even, uh, even the, uh, after the 100 hours of the, uh, of the testing. Uh, what's more, uh, we observed the strong correlation between the, um, the, mag the changes of the magnitude of the um, impedance and the changes of the uh, uh, relative uh, humidity. Uh, and uh, here we see the, another example of the gas sensor, uh, but with the different, uh, um, with other um, architecture. So. The, the sample was the, uh, an array of a few nanowires welded uh, to the microelectrodes, uh, and we found that the response of this uh, sensor is much higher in the uh, ferroelectric phase below the kilo temperature, which means that we that uh, 
uh, interaction between the, between the uh, dipo, uh, dipoles in this ferroelectric material and the uh, uh, electric dipole mo moment of the of um, ammonia gas molecules uh, are crucial for this detection of this gas uh, and um, this uh, sensor exhibited uh, good selectivity to ammonia against uh, other uh, interfering uh, gases. And the last um, possible uh, field of application of these materials is use them in uh, uh, piezocatalysis or photocatalysis. Uh, and uh, uh, here we see the example, uh, the uh, antimony sulfoiodide uh, uh, were used as the uh, antimony sulfoiodide nanowires were used as a, a piezocatalyst uh, to decompose metal orange in an aqueous solution. And we uh, observed that uh, after very short time of about uh, 40 uh, seconds, uh, this uh, organic compound can be uh, almost totally uh, degraded. Uh, and uh, I do not have time to uh, discuss this mechanics of the degradation, but I would like to underline that uh, this uh, value of um, uh, rate of kinetics of this reaction was very high in comparison to other uh, materials uh, known as a piezo catalyst. Uh, and uh, it can be explained, uh, these very good results, uh, it can be explained uh, um, as, a, um, as a result of the excellent uh, piezoelectric and electromechanical properties of uh, these nanowires. And uh, another reason is the very high surface to volume ratio and high uh, flexibility, uh, which is supported uh, by the one dimensional structure, uh, which is much, much, much better than the, uh, for example, nanoparticle uh, morphology. We observe, we observe also very good photocatalytic um, removal of this uh, metal orange using also um, antimony sulfoiodide nanowires. Okay, so in summary, I would like to say that uh, there is a strong need of in this investigation of ferroelectric or piezoelectric properties uh, of these uh, materials at the nanoscale. Uh, because uh, the samples we prepared uh, we have prepared so far are in the form of um, mm, uh, the pallets or uh, bulk samples containing many uh, many nanowires or uh, the samples are in the form of the uh, an arrays uh, an array of uh, nanowires so in the future we will investigate uh, these properties and the nanoscale we can tailor properties of these uh, nanomaterials uh, by the changing chemical composition. We can, uh, we can prepare uh, quaternary uh, materials. We can also apply strain to change the, uh, to change the uh, value of um, Curie temperature. Uh, and also we can, um, we are going to develop uh, the, uh, methods such as uh, alignment of nanowires and uh, the high pressure compression of nanowires into uh, bulk samples in order to obtain uh, the nano devices with the much better uh, performance. Uh, the photovoltaic performance obtained uh, so far is uh, too small for a solar efficient solar har energy harvesting. However, is, uh, uh, these materials are um, promising in use and, uh, in, a, in the ferrolic, ferrolic memories. Uh, and uh, very interesting field of uh, study is uh, use these materials in uh, beta voltaics. So we can, instead of uh, light, we can use the uh, beta source radiation to generate the uh, generate the uh, electric colors in these materials and we can um, we are going to prepare some uh, beta voltaic uh, nanogenerators in the future uh, we 
also will uh, investigate of piezoelectric, piezoelectric response of these uh, materials um, under the mechanical excitation, but at higher frequencies, uh, at the frequencies of order of uh, kilohertz. And these results will be uh, presented shortly. Uh, and we are going to um, prepare some hybrid devices uh, because we can combine different effects, piezoelectric, pyroelectric, photovoltaic, and triboelectric. And such the, the, the examination of such hybrid devices will be presented in very near future. And uh, finally, uh, I would like to say that uh, the, the future uh, interesting future investigation of these materials is uh, using them in a uh, catalysis, photo, piezo, and also pyrocatalysis. Um, at the end, I would like to thank you uh, to uh, my uh, colleagues from the Silesian University of Technology from Division of uh, Solid State Physics. And I, so I would like to also uh, thank you my uh, collaborators from University of Wisconsin-Madison, Dego Institute of Science and Technology from Korea, and ETH uh, Zurich from uh, Switzerland. Thank you for your attention.